waiting for the pass into the striker. A lot of you guys don't take the time, the necessary time to do so to actually find the striker's feet and break down your opponent in FIFA 22. So let's break this down for you guys with recent Global Series games. Griezmann, three men around him, and somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! Oh! The display there is absolutely ridiculous. The last goal on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about this in FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. As you can see here, we have MS Dossery as well as Lamps. Now, these two players played off in the Global Series uh, whilst they were attempting to qualify for the E World Cup. Now, this is a random game that I found. Okay, it's nothing special, lads. All pro players are doing this. All pro, pro players do this to an extent. And uh, I want to break it down for you guys. Now, finding the striker's feet is one of the most important aspects of the game. And I'll show you here exactly why uh, as you see we have ms dossery and he is building the ball up now as you see here he is dribbling and then bang he will find the striker's feet he's got messi passes into bruyne bang striker's feet is there now what finding the striker's feet actually does for you is when you do it of course the defender is forced to be dragged out and approach the attacker what this does is then leave space in behind. Leave space here as well because obviously this defender is forced to track the other striker a lot of the time. In general, the whole goal of FIFA is to find the striker's feet. Number one, they're the goal scorers. Number two, they draw defenders out as you can see here. Number three, you're able to turn and possibly shoot with that striker. If not, find another pass into the opposite striker. A lot of people don't do this, or in fact they do this, but they fail to do it sometimes because they're not taking the extra split second time to do so. For instance here, let's take it back another 10 seconds. MS Dossery building up, we have the ball into, of course, Messi. Now here I guarantee you guys, as you see, R9 is shown for the ball. A lot of you will just automatically try and make that pass. Lads, you gotta increase the percentages of making that pass. You can't just do it willy-nilly and expect to find the striker's feet. You need to do so by increasing the percentage of finding that pass into the striker. A lot of you guys will make that pass, but there's a player here blocking it, okay? What you'll see is MS Dossery doesn't force it. He takes that extra split second to wait for the players to position themselves again in another position before trying to find the striker's feet. So he's got the ball with Messi, no, he'll turn. He'll take a split second to turn and take his time in the midfield. He'll then turn again, he draws the midfield out, and once he's done that, now look what happens. We're able to find a pass into De Bruyne, and then we can find a pass in the striker. This passing option is a lot better than the one before, when there was a defender in front of the pass. You will see. He passes into De Bruyne, and then he's able to do a first-time pass into Ronaldo. He has split the defenders. This is a lot better compared to when Hullet was in front of that pass into R9 before. And as you see, finds the ball into the striker, Ronaldo, and Bob's your uncle. A lot of the uh, follow-on aspects of finding the striker's feet happen here where the defender's drawn out, and it opens up space for him to get the shot off in. This isn't just the only example, lads. You've got many examples. For instance, here at 49.30 is another goal, another prime example of what I'm trying to teach you guys here. As you see, we have <coughs> Lamps on the attack here. Diaz into the wing back, back to Militao, back to Diaz. Now he's starting to progress on the wing, on the side of the pitch, into Hullet, back, lovely build up here, out to the wing back, and you will see, he then finds it into Pele, but he delays the pass into Ronaldo, and from finding that pass into Ronaldo, he draws defences out, draws the defenders out, and basically, ends up, opening up the defence, 
for instance here, a lot of you guys, I can guarantee, instead of delaying that play and instead of increasing the chance of the pass making the striker from creating the passing lane, you guys would have passed here. But there's a defender there. He's covering the passing lane. So what's the point? The extra dribble, the extra time he takes to create that passing lane just to turn back here is what makes the difference. This is now a lot better. The pass into the striker happens. He'll then draw the defender out. Space proceeds to open up after this. As you see, bang. Again, lads, it's a prime example of what I'm trying to show you here. Taking that little bit of extra time and waiting for the pass into the striker instead of rushing it. Again, another prime example here. Okay. We have Cancelo. Haul it into Son. Holds it up. Brilliant. Tick attack a play here out to the wing. Into Son. And again, just holding that, that play up. Not rushing into the striker here. Can guarantee before when the ball was with, with, with Ramos, you guys would be trying to, you know, look for that pass into the striker. But he's going to delay it. He's going to just take that extra time to make sure the pass will work first. Okay? So he creates the opportunity. Pull it. Bang, bang. Now look what happens. Because we delayed it, because we found another pass to find a better angle, bang, bang, now we've split the defense into the striker, voila, the magic happens. Again, when you find the striker's feet, you draw defenders out. He drew Ramos all the way from here to here and opened that space in there. Brilliant goal, well worked, and lads, if you find the striker's feet, this will happen for you guys. It's the difference. You guys need to take your time. You need to find that striker's feet, but by just delaying the play a little bit and waiting for that pass into the striker. Very important, and definitely you need to obviously work on that, lads, if you haven't, or if you are struggling to attack and find the striker's feet in FIFA 22. That will see you the end of it. I am coaching one-on-one on patreon.com. The link is down below in the description, lads. You can keep in touch as well on Instagram. Go and check that out. And uh, yeah, as always, hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye.